Okay, then before we really get into algebra, we want to have a look at a few definitions that you're going to need. So you should start to try and use these words when you're talking about different things in algebra, when you're talking about expressions or e equations. So the first definition we want to have a look at is a variable. Now, you, you probably know some of these already, and you've used them, uh, them all um, as well. So a variable is a symbol, usually X or Y, but it could be A or B or any anything really that represents a number. So it's something that represents a number. Very simple idea. A coefficient is a number or a symbol that is multiplying a variable. So for example, say if I write down something like 3x, we would say the coefficient of x is 3. It's a number or a symbol that's multiplying a variable. We're multiplying 3 by the variable x. So the coefficient of x is 3. If I write down x squared, well, the coefficient of x squared, what's, think about it, what's the number that's multiplying x squared there? And it's 1. Because x squared is the same as 1x squared. Or if I write down this one, say, 2x squared plus 3x, I would say the coefficient of x squared is 2, and the coefficient of x is 3. Okay, let's have a look then at a constant. So a constant is just a quantity that does not change. So it's, it's, it's a number. So something like 1 over 2 is a constant. 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. It's never going to change from that. It's always a half. Minus 3 is a constant. It never changes. It's always minus 3. An expression then, an expression is something that combines all of these things. So it's something that contains a mixture of variables, constants, and arithmetic operations. So what I mean by arithmetic operations are just things like plus or minus or multiply or divide, things like that. So an expression is something that contains a mixture of variables and constants. It's kind of like a word in maths. So, for instance, if I write down, say, 3x plus 1, this is an expression. It contains a mixture of variables. So we've got x, constants, I've got 1, an arithmetic operation, so I've got a plus, and then the coefficient of x in this case is 3. So here, that's an expression. If I write down x squared, that's also an expression. Uh, we don't have any arithmetic operations, but it's still an expression. We have, it's, it's like a word in maths, x squared. Uh, I could write down minus 2x squared minus, or say plus 4x minus 3. This is an expression. It's a quadratic expression because we have an x squared in there, so or the highest power is x squared. So we've got minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. It's a, it is an expression. And then a term is a part of an expression. So a term, say in this expression here, in this quadratic expression I have over here, minus 2x squared is the first term plus 4x is the second term, and minus 3 is the third term. So this expression contains three terms, whereas this expression up here just contains two terms, 3x and 1. So a term is a part of an expression. And then there's one other, um, just while we're on that, we should talk, talk about the degree of an expression. So the degree of an expression is just the highest power in the expression. So if I take this expression over here, minus 2x squared uh, plus 4x minus 3, we would say the degree of this expression is 2 because the highest power is 2. If I write down, say, 4x minus 1, the degree of this expression would be 1 because the highest power of x is 1 because that's really 4x to the power of 1. We never write, when it's just to the power of 1, we never uh, write the power of 1 there, but it is there. Um, if I write down, let me see, 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. In this, this is a cubic expression, because it, we've got a cubed here, the highest power is a cubed, and the degree of this expression is 3. So we just say the degree of this expression is 3, because the highest power is a cubed. Okay, and that leads us on to uh, the definition of a polynomial. So you would have used polynomials a lot. So this this is the definition of a poly polynomial. It's, and it's an expression that looks like this, an expression of the form this. Now, this might look a little bit scary to you, but you've seen this. You've, you might not, might not know that you've seen this before, but you have. So a polynomial is an expression that just looks like this, where we've got 
ax a multiplied by x to the power of n plus b multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1 plus c multiplied by x to the power of n minus 2 plus all the way down to in the last term is a constant. Now the constant might be 0. And in this, in this uh, expression a, b and c they're all just real numbers and the values of n, n we want for for it to be um, a polynomial, the value of n, all of these things up here, the powers, they all have to be whole numbers. So a polynomial, it just looks like, let's, let's let, write down a few examples, let's say, it might make it easier. So say if I write down 4x squared plus 3x, this, this is a, well, let me say just put in a plus 1 there. This is a polynomial expression because it, it looks like this. So we've got ax to the power of n. So the highest power in this polynomial is a 2. So n is starting off at 2. So we've got, and the a in this bit is 4. So we've got 4x squared, ax to the power of n. And then if you look, the power of x goes down every time in a polynomial. So we've got n, you've got to the power of n minus 1. Here we've got x squared. Here we've got x to the power of 1. It's 3x, but that means 3x to the power of 1. And it goes all the way down. We don't we don't have um, we don't have any other terms with x in it, and then the last number is a constant, which we have here. Okay, if I write down say three x cubed plus four, this is also a polynomial expression. We've got a x to the power of n, a x to the power of n, and then the b bit we haven't got a b or anything squared or anything to the power of one, any x to the squared or any x to the power of one. So we say the b and c bit must be zero because zero times anything gives zero. And then we come down and we end up with a constant. So these are all examples of polynomial expressions.